Yo, what's up guys? It is me, Johnny the Collecting Wizard, and if you guys notice, this is actually a whole different setup from the last time. This is actually a brand new table, uh, and what better way to try out this brand new table then with an unboxing and that's exactly what we're here for it is one of those days and it is finally unboxing time uh so stay tuned and roll the intro you're a wizard harry Yo, what's going on guys welcome back to the channel where i talk about everything harry potter and theme park related content on a daily basis uh, i am here finally it's been forever this package actually got sent to miami my old house it was around mid-december so yeah this has been quite a long time since i've had this box it's actually been here for a long time and i've had had time to just open it and do this unboxing because i've had a lot of things to do <sighs> also I just released this really cool Instagram called Johnny Shops. Uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably already saw me promoting it. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys will know that I like to post everything that's brand new to the parks. Uh, I have brand new merchandise, old merchandise, discontinued merchandise that's still in the park. Uh, so I always go to the parks and people always ask me, can I buy this? Can you buy this for me? Um, and I'll sell you and I'll cash up you and I'll paypal you so it was a lot it got to a point that one day i had even posted it on my instagram i was literally just scrolling and scrolling of like easily over 30 to 40 people replying and saying hey can you send me this hey can you send me that uh can you um buy this for me can you so i say no all the time until now so if you guys want to know more about how you could go ahead and get these items that you can't find online uh, go ahead and follow me on Johnny shops Instagram so there's a lot of things that you can't really get online you actually have to go physically to the Universal um, parks to go ahead and get and that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be shopping personally shopping for you guys for items that you guys can't get online uh, for a fee if you guys want a really quick rundown i know this is an unboxing video i just want to go ahead and share that with you for people who can go to the parks every now and then um and they basically luck out when these really cool items happen that are only exclusive to the theme parks so i'm here to help you guys out but i digress so if you guys are asking hey johnny where's your secret lab chair it actually right over there you guys can't see it is off screen but i'm doing gaming i'm doing twitch streaming so go ahead and follow me on twitch the collecting wizard just like everything else uh, i'm going to be streaming a bunch of games and of course you guys know that i'm going to be streaming hogwarts legacy whenever it comes out i'm actually going to be posting uh not only twitch live stream but also youtube live stream and also some walkthroughs of the whole video game I'm gonna be literally like it's probably gonna be like two months of just Hogwarts Legacy. You people are gonna be like, finish, let me let me see an unboxing, let me see some books, something else aside from this game. But this has been a long intro. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start this unboxing because I haven't been waiting for this item for so long. And I finally have time to go ahead and unbox this. <sighs> without further ado. Let's go ahead and do this unboxing. And I'm sure there's gonna be someone in the comment section that's just gonna see every everything that I've been saying and they're just gonna write. Cause I know there's a bunch of people that do this. Um, that they're just gonna be like, okay, he's finally opening the box at this time. I find that so funny because it's true. I do talk a lot, but I like to give as much information as possible for when you guys are in the parks or so that way I don't get those DMs of, are they selling that at the park? okay so oh my god this is really cool so right here i'm gonna show you guys but it says harry potter film vault the complete series so yes if you guys have not seen the thumbnail this is the complete series of the harry potter film vault by insight editions i don't even know what else to say but i have been waiting for this item for so long i actually pre-ordered this easily over a year ago and it kept getting delayed and delayed and delayed until now finally in december there was they started finally actually shipping the whole uh complete set because if before that you were only able to buy the single ones so you were able to start you know you were able to collect them but you didn't have the full set 
until they finished it, obviously. You guys aren't gonna see, be able to see it, but yeah, it says Harry Potter Film Vault Complete Series. And now to unbox a box that's inside a box. So if you guys don't know what the Harry Potter Film Vault is, they show you a lot of really cool info and behind the scenes of the movies. So yeah, this is, oh my, okay. Okay, there's a box inside a box. And check this out, guys. This is so cool, oh my god. Okay, so right away, here you guys go. Here you guys see, from the films of Harry Potter, Film Vault Complete Series. What's well, that, The Complete Series, but guys, look at this. It is the Hogwarts Crest, um, and it says Harry Potter, um, Harry Potter Film Vault 1, all the way through 12. So you have a year's supply of this. So if you guys could go ahead and rummage through all of these books, they are really cool. Okay, and over here as well, you have the Hogwarts Crest. This is, this has been a long time waiting, guys. I'm not even exaggerating. Now I have to go ahead and find a place for these because they're, they're the heavy, they're heavy. They're big boys. Look at that. And if you guys see my hand shaking, it's because it actually is shaking. Like this is super, super heavy. <laughs> this is really heavy right now my finger okay so I'm actually gonna show you guys you know real quick the the front can you can you grab these now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys each cover of each book okay so number one is this one right here and here is uh, here it says Harry Potter film vault forest lake and sky creatures so actually oh it says includes exclusive art print now I'm trying to see if if it's in the book okay so it talks about the centaurs forest dwellers not <gasps> it's here okay and it is Harry Potter with Aragog you can see Aragog right there in the forbidden forest that would be really cool if they actually had all the all the books had like a specific little print for them um i believe i forgot who who's the author of these but i'm gonna go actually save them and put them right here on the side so it says here by jody Robinson. it just shows you a bunch of really cool things about the forest lake and sky creatures and number two is diagon alley hogwarts express and the ministry and i believe each one has Yes! Now I need more frames. Okay, so each one has their own individual print, which is so cool, guys. You guys know how much I love my prints. And this one is of the Weasley's Wizard Weezes shop. So it's the Weasley's joke shop. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. I'm trying to not have them, you know, get damaged. But dude, look at this. Oh man, I'm gonna have a blast doing reels with these. Oh, that's another uh, shameless plug there. If you guys do not follow me on Instagram, definitely go ahead and do so. It is The Collecting Wizard, just like my channel name. I have a lot of really cool reels about these type of things, unboxings, and basically anything Harry Potter and theme park related content, you will see it in my uh, Instagram. And it's actually the quickest source of information that I could possibly give to you guys. To make these videos typically takes within a week to make three or four. Um, but on Instagram, I'm able to post information right away as soon as it lands. So definitely go ahead and follow me if you guys have not done so already. This is number three and it is the Horcrux and the Deathly Hollows. And here you have a picture of the dragon going through Green Gods. It's actually inside Green Gods. Quick fun fact: if you guys want to go ahead and purchase each one, it is $16.99. And <clears throat> let me check how much I paid for the whole set. Because it's been a long time since I've done that. It was actually delivered December 7th. Okay, so the whole set, hardcover. These are hardcover books. The whole complete set. It is called Harry Potter Film Vault, the complete series special edition box set. It is $106, guys. This is really good price for 12 amazing information-packed books. I love 
every type of fun facts I love I love fun facts and Easter eggs and all of those things so these are really cool I love behind the scene things uh, my favorite goal or my ultimate goal is to just be able to walk around the back lots of Universal Studios and see behind the magic of everything so yeah I'm one of those guys if you guys want to go ahead and actually purchase this right away I'm actually gonna go ahead and link it down in my Amazon affiliate page so if you guys want to go ahead and purchase this right away as soon as you guys watch this video go down below into my description and you guys will see that link so this is the Salazar Slytherin locket and it's not just Salazar Slytherin's locket no they actually show you all the sides they gave you all the angles check this out it kind of reminds me of like a Mina Lima print but a more like not realistic print it's more like um I don't even like cartoony but it's not cartoony I don't know you have to go ahead and see these in person um, for yourself and you actually see uh, Harry in the back here um, he's actually in Bellatrix's vault looking for the Horcrux I actually don't like though that they come with the sticker like stuck here so that means I'm probably gonna have to like manually take them all off to have you know like a clean flush um, set yeah I hope they don't damage my covers all right, this is number four, and this is Hogwarts Students. Oh my God, and the first cover is actually Snape and Harry's dad. Oh, okay. I love this. This is when the Weasley twins disrupted um, the exam that Dolores Umbridge was giving at the time in the Great Hall. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it is one of the Weasley twins up here another one down here and they just have fireworks all over I really am contemplating framing all of these because they look so cool I'm not gonna have any space whatsoever okay so number five is creature companions plants and shapeshifters and it has Fox of Phoenix as the cover okay let me see the back okay not a fan of this one but that's fine I'm not gonna like all of them so this is Harry and Dumbledore with a little baby Fox of Phoenix. The reason I say it's not my favorite is because I'm not a big fan of Dumbledore and I'm not a big fan of Harry. So this is just the dynamic duo that I never wanted. <laughs> and I'll get into uh, if you guys want to go ahead and know why I don't like them. If enough people comment that, I'll do a video on it. But yeah, not a big fan of them. Okay, number, what is this? Number six, it is Hogwarts Castle. This is my favorite one. So it is literally everything about the Hogwarts castle. I really hope the picture is of Hogwarts. It is! We got Hogwarts. Okay, so I love the background on this one. It kind of gives me like um, like a sunset vibe. So look at this. Maybe if you guys want these type of prints, if you guys want any prints, comment down below or DM me. And I'll go ahead and sell them to you or give them away. I have no idea just yet. But yeah, because um, I'm probably not going to keep all of them. There's 12 prints in here. Uh, and I'm, I don't think I'm going to like all of them, obviously. Ooh. So this is Quidditch and Tri... Quidditch? Oh, sorry. Quidditch and the Triwizard Tournament. Um, and it is Harry and Draco Malfoy chasing the Golden Snitch. And this is book number seven. Ooh, okay. I like this one too. I'm starting to like all of them now. These are, these are coming back real good. Okay, so this one is of Alan Wake Castle in the in Scotland, which I'm planning to go over there um, on my Europe trip. And you can see the Quidditch pitch on the background. I don't know if you guys can see it. You can see some players right here. Um, actually, the Gryffindor and Slytherin team. You see the Slytherin team all the way over here. If I see that the video isn't capturing these images as good as it can, I'll go ahead and do an up close footage of all of them. Don't worry about it. All right, this is number eight. We are on number eight. Whoa. Okay. The Order of the Phoenix and the Dark Forces. Ooh, you guys. Here is what I found. Siri. Okay. Sorry about that. But yes, you guys know how much I love the dark arts, and maybe it's because I'm a Slytherin. 
Okay, I have no idea who this is. This could be actually Alistair Moody riding around his uh, yeah his contraption of a of a broomstick. This is the only broomstick that I've ever seen that actually has no handle whatsoever. Um, so I'm wondering how he you know he manages to just ride around town without even you know using his hands. But yeah, really cool. You see Tonks also. Uh, in the bottom with purple hair. All right, and this is Goblins, House Elves, and Dark Creatures, book number nine. And it has Dobby and Harry Potter on the front. Ooh, I really like this one. I know I've been saying that about almost all of them, but these are, I feel like they're getting better as the time, as I pass each one. So this is Gringotts. Look at that. Okay, this is book number 10. And it is Wizarding Homes and Villages. And it is in Hogsmeade. A snowy Hogsmeade at that too. <gasps> oh, I know Carla is gonna freak out when she sees this one. Oh my god. Okay, so this is the Weasley's house, or as Carla likes to say, the burrow. Um, and you see the Fort Anglia actually flying right down here as he's making that land but oh I really like this one I'm probably gonna keep that one if she doesn't want it or she already has it I wouldn't be surprised but I'll keep that one number 11 it is Hogwarts professors and staff and it is that portrait that you guys saw that I actually wasn't a big fan of it is Harry Potter uh, Dumbledore and a little baby fox of Phoenix here you have everyone in Herbology taking out some mandrakes Screaming man, or shrieking, shrieking mandrakes. Is that what it is? And the last book to finish them off, it is Celebrations Food, Publications of the Wizarding World, and it is in the Burrow. All right, and let's see the final one. It is the Quibbler. It is the Quibbler. I actually have seen so many different versions of this print, and yeah, I'm glad I I was able to buy one without planning to buy one. If that makes any sense. All right, and that is everything for the books. I'm actually going to show you guys, I guess, a piece of... Hmm, let me look for a cool one. Okay, so here we have the Dark Forces. <gasps> no freaking way. Dude, my tattoo is here. Oh, my. Okay, that is crazy. Okay, I had... Dude, I literally got the most random book this was not <laughs> pre-filmed i did not plan for this to even happen this is actually snape um as a death eater for those who do not know or actually the guys haven't seen it because in the movie he never comes out as a death eater but oh my goodness that's actually my tattoo if you guys have never seen my tattoo video i actually put a link of it up here um or up here i have no idea at this point but that is my tattoo that is snape as a death eater it talks about clothes and what the uh, what the actors had to use and what to wear uh, it talks about their wands um let me see here it talks about even for example author weasley it says first appearance is harry potter in the chamber of secrets additional appearance and then they show you everything they show you his house his occupation misuse of mogul artifacts office Master of Magic, and he is a member of the Order of the Phoenix. And it shows you guys some, I guess, behind the scenes of like what actually happened. It has some diagrams as well, little blueprints. I don't even know what they're called. Don't call me a Nifedora. Yeah, so you guys can see more or less what um, the books are about. It has a lot of really cool information that you guys would probably not know much about. So right now I bumped into Tom Marvolo Riddle and you guys could actually see him as when he was transforming into what he is now or what he was now, um, a whole different type of person thing. Uh, this is actually his transformation from a civil person. Well, I don't think he was ever a civil person, but you guys know what I mean. He used to be a normal person that started losing his nose losing his face just transforming into the thing that he is now which is a dark lord and here you're actually able to see peter pettigrew but if you guys can see real closely 
this is actually the actor and he has his finger which if you guys know Peter Pettigrew he lost his finger he cut his finger over here he actually has like a blue like a green screen type of thing but it's blue uh, basically so that way after you know CGI and everything they go ahead and remove that finger yeah I think this is really pretty cool this is really cool if you guys are like me and love some behind the scenes stuff look at this they are so freaking cool guys you guys have to go ahead and get this because how cool would these look on your shelves like honestly look look at this and like you could like take them out and then they form the Hogwarts crest and it looks very classic I hope you guys liked that. If you guys did, smash that like button down below. And hey, if you guys are new here, my name is Johnny. I go by The Collecting Wizard and I talk about everything Harry Potter and theme park related content on a daily basis. So without further ado, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Come on.